Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the chemistry and electricity said by Mel Chemistry, we will make our own chemical battery, a Daniel Galvanic cell. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the Daniel Galvanic Cell experiment, you'll need solutions of copper sulfate and zinc sulfate, copper and zinc rods, four plastic vials, a vial holder, two strips of absorbing fabric, a set of crocodile clip wires, a buzzer, and a light emitting diode. Set all four vials into the holder. Pour half a bottle of copper sulfate into the second and fourth vials. And half a bottle of zinc sulfate into the first and third vials. Into each pair of vials, insert a piece of absorbing fabric so that its ends are immersed in both solutions. Now, take two copper rods and two zinc rods. Connect one copper rod to the red wire and one zinc rod to the black wire. Then, take a white wire and connect it to the remaining copper and zinc pieces. Insert the zinc rod on the black wire into the first vial. Now, insert the metals on the white wire, copper into the second vial, and zinc into the third. Finally, insert the copper piece on the red wire into the fourth vial. Connect a free end of the red wire onto the long leg of the LED and the black wire onto the short one. The LED will light up, which means there is electrical current in the wires. If you were to connect a buzzer instead, it will signal with a sound, a proof that our battery cell is working. By connecting an LED or a buzzer, we loop the electrical circuit. Electrons start flowing from the more active metal, zinc, towards the less active metal, for example, copper. As a result, a zinc rod is gradually oxidized and dissolved, while the copper piece is being reduced to yield metal copper that precipitates on its surface. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.